right, guys. We need a new flavor for Bryce 50. Cranberry flavor. Laffy Taffy. How about broccoli? Less rice fifty, so let's raise the price. But if we raise our prices, won't that mean that the elasticity of our customers will be affected? No, we'll still have those faithful and elastic customers who don't care about price changes. <clears throat> you know plate. what? Jesse's right. <clears throat> Look, we managed to keep the unitary elasticity to one <clears throat> as we raised the price the last time. Let's do it again. A jar again. <laughs> I will teach you the ways of elasticity. Okay, little one. I will teach you the ways of elasticity. And to do so, I will demonstrate with this rubber band that I managed to carry with me every day. Now, first, we must, I must show you that this is like prices. If you stretch it too much, or it will pretty much increase it, the prices, it will break. Now. <laughs> Good job. Let's begin. Okay, now I will teach you another example. Unfortunately, I carry a second pair of rubber bands. Now, no, not yet. First, I will show you a demonstration. Imagine this is people and low prices. As you increase the price, less people will buy it because they are sensitive to price changes. Show me what you have learned. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Not stretch, not stretch, not stretch. Less people. Good enough. I've taught you well. You are ready. Soon race, price is price 50. The elasticity people are going to be affected. The elasticity is affected. People are going to buy less. Total revenue she gets from her customers is going to be really, really, really bad. She's going to get no money. People are going to go for other products called substitutes, like broccoli. Broccoli is more of a necessity because it's healthier, because it's green, because it looks like trees. Because it's more important. I need to have a touch of business. What kind of business? <laughs> the rest spiffy business. Oh god, I wonder who did it.
not. Do the Harlem shit.